kidding okay good morning everyone how's it going i'm just gonna make my coffee and then i will explain what is on the agenda today so i have joined a book discussion of like a book club basically um that's literally what it is i've joined a book club so the meeting date is in like 12 days so i need to go purchase the book so i'm gonna go do a little bit of book shopping and i thought why not take you guys with me? So today we're going to be going to check out five bookstores, I think. But these are going to be English speaking bookstores. Like, well, the, the bookstore doesn't speak English. There are a lot, there are English books in the store because I'm looking for an English book, you know, la la la. So maybe another time we can do kind of like really cool French bookstores. But today we're going to be focusing on English books. Um, so the first bookstore is in the first arrondissement, which is like central Paris. So everyone, put on your most obnoxious outfit of, who knows, a striped sweater and maybe some corduroy orange pants. And let's, let's hit the road. <laughs> Okay, that store was gorgeous and I actually found my book club book in my first place and I got another French book that I've been wanting. So now we're gonna head over to the fifth and that is gonna be where we're gonna be going to more like secondhand stores and things like that. If you want to talk about bookstores with charm, that was definitely the place. It was super small, like you can barely squeeze by, but the people were super friendly. They were helping a bunch of people in the store. You can find, it's kind of interesting because the vibe is more of a used book place. Like I was kind of leaf blower. <laughs> God, it's so loud. Okay, the vibe was more of like a used book place. Like it feels like all the books have been used, but the prices were still quite high. And I didn't really have enough time to like look through all the used books, but that place, I mean, if you're looking for a place with charm, definitely go there. They also have a little stand where they give you coffee with Canadian maple syrup because it is a Canadian store, so, or owned by a Canadian, so definitely go there. Okay, 
Okay, the break is over. We are back on the trail. Shakespeare and Co. has opened. That's where we're going. We're going to Shakespeare and Co. And we are, I know I've already said it, but we're in the fifth arrondissement, which is like the Latin Quarter, the Sorbonne. And there are a ton of bookstores here. Like if you're ever looking for books in Paris, French or English, just come walk around the fifth and you will find some. Love that place so much just like so much charm it's very curated so it's very easy to shop so now we are headed to the six around uh, Jardin de Luxembourg for our last two shops heading to our last bookstore of the day, the Red Wheelbarrow. A little bit closer down to Jardin de Luxembourg. That place was like a little stressful. It's very small, San Francisco books. I don't even think I said the name of it. Um, it was a little small, but I ended up finding the remains of the day. So I was super excited for seven euros. Great prices there. Okay, so let's head to our last bookstore. incredibly awkward so I just walked in I like the door was open so I walked in they kind of both looked at me and they were like and I was like oh are you are you not open and they said not exactly we're waiting for someone and they're like are you looking for a specific book and I said no I'm just kind of browsing and they're like oh and I said just don't worry about it I'll just come back another day so it was a really cute shop the red wheelbarrow by Jardin du Luxembourg it's literally across the street but I think that's gonna conclude our shopping for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and head home and then I will break down the books that we got and the shops that we went to. Okay, you guys, so I have returned home and I'm gonna show you the books I got today. So this is a little bit of a book haul. So the first store that we went to was the Galignani store. It's super robust, studious, beautiful a lot of like non-fiction titles. It just feels very like rich, you know what I'm saying? So the books that I got from there are, first of all, this is the book that I got from my book club. I got the, I got Everything I Never Told You by Celeste. I do not know how to say her last name. I need to look it up, but this is the book from my book club. So I got this right off the bat. And I love when bookstores give you bookmarks. So that's super fun. And then I know that I said I was looking for English books today, but I decided to get this French book. This is La Normalie. Um, I've been seeing this literally everywhere. And I obviously I like to read in French. I think it's great for like my language. So or like my language skills. So yeah, so I got this one also and I'm super excited about it. From there, I went to the Abbey, which I didn't buy any books from there, but that was the book, the place that was very charming, small. It had the coffee and the maple syrup outside if you wanted some. It was just like a really cute place and I would definitely recommend going back there. It was definitely a little bit more, it's kind of a more chaotic vibe, Like it's still cute and charming, but it's just, there's so many books from floor to ceiling. So it's a little bit more, it's just harder to shop, I think. And there's a few other people in there. You have to like step around each other. And also it, it has a secondhand vibe, but a lot of the books were still at full price. So yes. So from there, I went to my favorite. I freaking love that place. I went to Shakespeare and Co in the fifth as well. So we were in the first with the first bookstore. Then we were in the fifth with the Abbey. 
Then we went to the fifth again for Shakespeare and Co. And the two books I got from there are, first of all, the Song of Achilles. Um, so I am obsessed with Circe by Madeline Miller. So I really wanted to get this one. And I'm, I mean, everything I've heard about this book is that it's incredible. So really excited for that. I also got Interior Chinatown. Um, this is a book that was on the New York Times PBS NewsHour book list, their book club, and they always choose amazing books. I also just realized that I don't really read a lot of books by Asian authors, so I also thought that I could do, should pick this up, and it's basically like a, a play, I'm pretty sure, a more humorous book, so I'm really excited about that. And then the final store I went to, I was supposed to go to two more stores, but like I said, the Red Real Barrel was like it was weirdly closed like it, it wasn't closed but they just like I don't know what I don't really understand what they were doing but I didn't want to like press them so next I went to San Francisco bookstore this was in the was this in the fifth or this I think this was in the sixth um kind of not far from Jardin du Luxembourg and this I got okay so I wasn't gonna get anything when I walked into that place it was also very kind of like small maybe like a little stressful feeling um I just it was kind of claustrophobic. There's quite a few people and it's just really hard to navigate around, but that place definitely feels very like homey again. And it definitely feels like, it, it seems like a tried and true place that, I mean, obviously there's a lot of people in there, so people love it. Um, but I got The Remains of the Day. I've read, um, God, what's that book called? Uh, Never Let Me Go, Never Let You Go, Never Let Me Go. Um, and so I've always wanted to read this one as well. So I got this for seven euros, like I said. So this is second hand, um, great price. And they also gave you a little bookmark. So that's great. I mean, if I had to pick a favorite, they were all great. It's I'm really happy that I could support some other small businesses today, some different businesses. I just love Shakespeare and Co so much. It's kind of like my, I don't know, just, it just feels so good in there. Like the people are nice. They have a great selection. I just feel like at Shakespeare & Co, they do a really great job of like curating the books. So it's really easy to shop, if that makes sense. Um, but okay, so I think that's going to wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys um, are also reading. Let me know what you guys are reading, what else you want to see, all of the good things. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Doodles!